Hey, Porter, hey, Porter, would you tell me the time? How much? Well, this morning we're at uh, Glacier National Park, and we're parked here at the KOA Park at the west entrance. It's about, uh, well, I think it's Wednesday, and it's uh, 24th or 25th of August. We had an easy trip up yesterday from St. Regis. St. Regis is a small, real small town in Montana, just off I-90. And we were in a nice RV park there last night. And uh, we're off now to uh, see Glacier. It's nice to see tent campers. They're all over the place here at Glacier. It's probably about 50 degrees this morning. Mary's inside, a bobcat, and uh, just getting things ready to take off at the visitor center. This KO Par KOA park is really terrific. They serve a very nice meal at night. We had ch uh, barbecue chicken and corn on the cob last night. We have breakfast this morning, but I think we're going to skip it. We had a banana and coffee. Oh. Required to stop briefly. Can you? Where's where's this? Season. Lots. When you say lead, you mean like lead's gonna drop off? And uh, from what I from what I heard, did you get that? Get a chain you can hold on to. Yeah, you get like three or four of them. Young trees are coming back. Oh yes. Oh, well, we're climbing yeah. up to Logan's Pass. Uh, just a spectacular view here. The ultimate goal is Logan's Pass. This is a really treacherous road. Incredible. And how this guy can do it, but he does it. He's been working 11 years here. As you imagine these areas just filled with ice during the last glacial period. This is 15,000. Oh yeah, there we were, right down there. The driver was saying, we're right down there. Amazing. It's spectacular. Haystack Creek up in front of us over here. Haystack Creek. Ooh, look at this. They're over in the grass more than the rock. Yeah, down below the rock, in between the big sections of trees. They're looking at goats now. What? Yeah, okay. Where are the goats at, Mary? They're, they're bighorn sheep. Oh, bighorn big sheep. So they're brown. Uh -huh. They're brown and they're in between. The, the two cluster there, and then uh -huh. the wash. Did you see them? And then the other ones. Did you see them? No, I don't. I can't see so them from here. That'll be the best first place to look. He's got a. He's got like a. Well, we're at Logan's Pass. The bus has just dropped us off. It's just fabulous here. It's just incredible. Just incredible. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, we're looking at the big horn sheep just walking. There, now he's up on the walking down. He's walking down. Camera's a little shaky, but he's there. And here we are in relationship to the mountain. There we are. And you see where she's at. Right in front of the yeah, I see rock. it. I see it. 
We're way up there. There's the mountain. And they came down again, so we're going to look at him again. Right in front of the red rock. And now he's yeah. moving, I think. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try to get in. There he is. There he is. He's moving. I think I see him. He's leaning at it. Oh, he's scratching. Well, I can't see it, but maybe we'll see it. The red rock. The red, red rock, rock, and now he's scratching his Don't see a red rock. head with his foot, and now he's coming around off the red rock. He's going off the red rock. There he is, right there, yeah. That's a white one. Okay, Northern Pass, 53, chance of showers. With thunder showers also possible afternoon, mostly cloudy with a high of 53. North, northeast wind is 7 to 10. Okay. Chance of precipitation 50%. There's a there we are. digital camera, 57. So it's 57. Here's humidity, 67. And here's some signs. It says the uh, yeah. trail is closed due to uh, carcass on the trail. Hidden yeah. Lake is closed past the overlook due to bear activity. Iceberg, Iceberg Lake. Something else. Closed due to bear activity. Yeah. Is that the tunnel that we saw? No, I don't think it is. No, sure. Anyway, we're here in, in the visitor center. And outside we can. Well, we're going to have a look at some of the displays. Very nice visitor center. <laughs> Park rangers. Yeah. And out here we have. This is Logan's Pass, just surrounded by geologic processes. Everything you can imagine, rocks. Can you imagine, 15,000 years ago, Ice Age, this place is filled with glaciers all the way to the top. Amazing. Well, we're having lunch now, and uh, Here's what we see. At the Logan Trail. There with the Logan Trail. We're looking at that. And we're looking at that big one. And I'm going to take the Hidden Lake Pass, one and a half mile hike. Mary will stay here. And uh, it should be real nice. Look at that. And there's some, lots of kids here, young kids. Look at that meadow. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, I'll be on the trail here pretty soon. Well, we're on our way to Hidden Lake. Mary may not go all the way, but along the uh, trail here, are these little interesting uh, signs, and if you turn the crank, it'll speak to you. And uh, this is telling about. Uh, okay, Mary's going to turn it. Now push the button. Didn't this one didn't work? Oh well, the other one did. Anyway, it's a beautiful view up here. Look at this mountain. Just right here. This is. We're gonna, I'm going to take the hike over to Hidden Lake. And it's about a mile and a half. Which in Melbourne Village, miles, it's about, I guess, from my, our house on 691 Acacia to Home Depot. So, let's see what happens. Well, I'm on the Hidden Lake trailhead, one and a half miles up, and this sign says uh, past the one and a half miles, it's closed because of bears. Should be interesting. Just beautiful. There's both, I think, black and brown bear plus grizzly bear. And uh, it says we're entering grizzly country. We didn't get any bear spray. Okay. We're going to see if we can manage to get through the trail without bear spray. The geology here is fascinating. I think we're looking at some shale outcrops here. This was clearly at the bottom of the ocean or a light landlocked late lake in the past. Up here is uh, some of this is sedimentary rock. I can see it layered. 
Very interesting geology. One trail is the takeout. It wouldn't be Dropping complete unless we saw a bear. There's and a bear. Then, and then, see a bear? Yeah. There's two bears. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see them. Yeah. That's why the rangers are running. They're bears. Well, everyone spotted this bear. And to me, it looks like it's a big one. It's a grizzly bear. See if I can get a close-up of him. Would your camera would have been able to see it? No. Good boy. There we are. It's a grizzly. I can see it. It's a big grizzly. He's looking around. He's not too far from us, I'd say. Maybe a quarter of a mile if we're at best. He's right here. Lots of uh, wildflowers here. That red one looks like Indian paintbrush. Along this outcrop of sedimentary rock. You see a little bit of the snowpack or the glacier. There's a lot of uh, red shale outcrops along here. I have to figure out whether this is older than the than the big mountains we see over here. Obviously, a lot of sedimentation here in the past. Way off in the distance is the ranger. He's tracing yes. chasing those deer. And That's then if deer you look, out there? No, not deer. Bear. And then bear? if yeah, it was bear. See, is that, those are two goats. Like there are goats, but there were bears. That's why he was there. Now, if I can find those goats. Where are they? They just went on the rocks. They're on the rock, yeah. Okay. Yeah, tree line. Okay, let's see where I can see them. Yeah, I think that's them. No, that's not them. Well, anyway, they're out there. Two white goats. And the ranger, he's trying to, I guess, watch him for that grizzly bear. Picture with oh, look at this guy. This is the end of the trail for me. <laughs> end of the trail. I'm going back down. Look at this guy. Hello. 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 Chipmunk. There's some yellow algae growing here, or fungus, on this red rock. Well, today is uh, Thursday. I think it's the 25th or 26th. Yesterday we spent uh, all day at uh, Glacier at the uh, summit, Logan Summit. It was just beautiful, fantastic. And now we're heading today towards uh, East Glacier. We may stay there tonight, visit the east side. We've had a great time here and uh, we're kind of getting on our way home. Either today, t tomorrow, tonight or tomorrow, we'll be over at uh, Great Falls, Montana. See you there. Well, we've just stopped here on Highway 2 in Montana, headed towards the East, East Glacier. We probably won't stop here, but we'll go on to Browning. And uh, we ran across this beautiful vista, very clearly the Rocky Mountains, just beautiful. 2016, we're here in Great Falls, Montana. And one of the highlights of our trip was to visit the Charles Russell Museum. Charles Russell was a famous uh, painter of the Wild West, Native Americans, cowboys, landscapes. So we're going to look at, at, his, at the museum briefly. 
Uh, the museum is located very right down, kind of downtown on the corner of uh, 13th and 14th Street. And this area is very nice. It reminds me of my hometown in Albany, Oregon. A lot of the homes are fixed up, were made very nice, and uh, it's just lovely to be here. At the entrance of the museum are these life-size bronzes. Uh, they may be replicas of some of the waxes that uh, Charles Russell did. And uh, it's just beautiful here. This is, I think, a life-size of a wolf. And uh, I didn't realize they were that large, pretty large. Over there is a life size of a moose. And here's the grizzly bear. He, two days ago, uh, as I was going up to Hidden Lake at Logan's Pass in uh, Glacier, West Glacier, uh, we ran across the grizzly bear. It was some distance off and it had one cub. And, uh, the ranger was running wild to get his uh, his bear spray. Here's the bison, also called buffalo, and I'm sure this is not life size. It seems a bit small. We haven't seen buffalo yet, but we'll be going through Wyoming soon. Maybe we'll see it. This is the entrance to the museum. It's just fabulous. It must have maybe two or three hundred original. Uh, Russell sketches and paintings. He was really a very prolific person. Died in 1924. Here's some banners outside of the uh, museum. It says going to the sun. That refers to the Sun Highway or Sun Road up in Glacier. We were on that part way. We're only allowed to do photography in the lobby. We can't do photography inside. So I'm I'm doing this with the permission of the receptionist. This is uh, Charles Russell, the man. Very prolific. A little inscription by Charles Russell. Must be a mountain goat or a mountain sheep. This is a larger than life size bronze sculpture of uh, Charles Russell. And he died in 1924. But his really prolific period was somewhere in around 2000, 2010. Amazing person. Such wonderful art. This is the gift shop. Lots of nice things to look at and maybe to buy. Beautiful. As we exit, we see this uh, almost life-size depiction of a bison. Very colorful. And there's the inscription. Very interesting. Very colorful. So you get an idea of the size of this thing. This is this would be his eyes. Outside the museum is the Charles and Nancy Russell home they built in well, when was the date? I think it was 1910 or something like that. And uh, talking with the people in the museum, they said, this is the original house. It was just moved 17 feet for the sake of fire hazard. Now next to it, and kind of under repair, is uh, his studio. And the 
word was that he just had a small room in the house and as he was painting all the fumes and turpentine and so forth propagated through the house so they built a studio out of log poles and uh, built this in about 19 maybe 10 or 15. Here's the front of the studio and they're doing a little bit of repair work. Can you imagine, built so long ago by Charles Russell. This is the original re uh, residence of Charles and Nancy Russell. I think she lived till about 1942 or something like that. And they, they built also a cabin up in the uh, Glacier National Park, which is not open to the public. The Great Falls, Montana was the home of uh, Charles Russell. I believe he was born in maybe Missouri and uh, he never took formal training, really formal training in art until many years later he had a few classes but he really captured the scenes. Saturday the 27th here at Dick's RV Park in Great Falls, Montana. Uh, the camper, the truck camper behind us, these people are from Enterprise, Oregon. And we had a nice talk with him yesterday. And these people right here are from, uh, uh, let's see, Silverton, Oregon. It's a pretty good RV park. There's the camp store. And in there are the laundries. And we took care of our laundry yesterday. So we're headed for Billings today. And uh, we'll stay there overnight. It's about uh, four hours away met this person. She's going to Alaska in a, sometime in that big RV. She liked ours. Okay, we'll see you in Billings. Well, we're about 60 miles, I guess, east of uh, Great Falls, Montana, and we decided to take a break and stop in this little town called Stanford, Stanford, Montana. It looks like it has a population of about, uh, oh, I'm guessing probably about 100. There's the market. And this is downtown Stanford. Looks pretty neat. We're going to have lunch here. Beautiful little little town, village. And uh, Mary's coming back. I'm wondering if she found that little cafe open. I guess this is the town park. It's just beautiful here. This is wheat country. And so you see these great big uh, wheat, wheat storage areas. We're going to stop here at the Basin Trading Post, and uh, it's got a deli. So we're going to have a bite to eat. These small little Montana towns just fascinate me. After lunch, I asked the lady uh, the population. She said around 300. And here's some of the businesses. This is the Country Ranch Emporium. Next to it is the Pump Barn. And next to that is the Water Hole Saloon. Boy, Saturday night must be pretty exciting here. They keep it nice here in Stanford, Montana. Mary said I need a haircut, but I'm not sure I'm going to stop here. It is open. No place would be complete without a, a newspaper. Here's the Judith Basin Press. Well, we're going to take off and leave Stanford. I'm wondering if we'll ever come back here. Mary's over getting a quart of milk at the market. Well, we're just coming into Billows. Billings, after about four hours drive from uh, Great Falls. I didn't expect to see this. Here's the high desert on the left, and now Billows is down in, a, in like a valley. It's just amazing. Look at that. Well, we're going to find our KOA park now and explore this interesting town, Billings, Montana. It's Sunday, August 28, 2016. We're here at the uh, KOA park in Billings, Montana. 
Uh, we're going to leave this morning and we're going to head towards Red Lodge and then to Cody. Yeah, a lot of people are heading out now. Usually way it goes by about 9.30, 10 o'clock, people have moved out. People riding the bikes. This is a quite a big park here. This little miniature uh, steam Montana, ship uh, was running yesterday. It had uh, steam and water as part of the miniature golf here. Tell them about the Montana leaving. Yeah, the Montana's leaving. I guess it's going to go in front of the office first. Yeah. Uh, the, the swimming pool, did you show the swimming pool? Oh, well, we've seen a lot of swimming yeah, pools. Yeah, lots of swimming pools. There's the doggy in the back seat. Yeah, in the back seat. Now, we're seven weeks on this trip now, and we still have probably another week and a half or two before we get home. Next weekend, we've got to make, uh, or, or actually today, we've got to make reservations somewhere for Labor Day. It'll be packed. Probably most of the RV parks will be filled. Hey Porter, hey Porter, would you tell me the time? How much longer will it be till we cross that Mason-Dixon line? At daylight, would you tell that engineer to slow it down? Or better still, just stop the train, cause I wanna look around. 